In this quick start tutorial, I want to show you how to use Sundog to build a song. The final result will sound like this. But let's start in the beginning. Sundog is a standalone software and you will need to connect it to a door or synth to hear sound. I use a virtual MIDI cable to connect Sundog to Ableton Live. Different Sundog channels are connected to different Ableton channels via MIDI. If you click on the box and hold down your mouse, you will trigger the step sequencer. The zero over here means that exactly the note that you press will be played back. In this case, it's a C. And now it's a G. Let's use another step and set it to 1. That's one note above 0 then. Now it's easy to build a small arpeggio. Click on OCT to transpose the note 1 octave up. The notes on the yellow box come from the currently used scale. I will set it to G minor now because G minor is quite nice for a trance song. This alone can be very nice. Let's listen to another instrument and record our mouse movements. To tap the full potential, let's take a look at the chords feature. I will use my trusty pad sound and click on chords. What you see here is the matrix of chords of our scale. You can find triads in the upper part and four note chords in the lower part. The most important chords can be found either in the yellow line or in the green line. Let's create a chord progression now. It's a very simple one. Ok, we want to take these chords for our song and I press Use Chords. I press Play and it still sounds like before. So how can we use our chord notes now? It's pretty simple. Instead of scale notes we use chord notes and now our bass will follow the chords. We could record our input now, but there are also some nice convenient shortcuts for common tasks. Click on Edit and choose Follow the chord notes on this channel. Let's do the same for the keys. Ok, we want to have some drums as well now. Our bass drum is triggered by a fixed note. C2 is a standard value for bass drums in many drum kits. Go to Edit, choose Fill Channel with Basic Sequence.
For the pet we want to listen to the full chords. This is another source mode. So now we don't use scale notes or chord notes anymore, but full chords. Click on edit, follow the chords on this channel. Now the final step. We pick the small MIDI symbol and drag it to Ableton Live. 